the handshake line. Now, end result, UConn wins, Maria. What happened in the in the handshake line just there? Oh, nothing happened in the handshake line. Just, uh, I thought one of their fans was giving our players a little bit of a hard time. Had nothing to do with the Creighton team at all. Okay, well, it was a really hard-fought game. You guys came out with a win. How did you pull it off there in the fourth? Well, number one, you see how much we miss Caroline. Okay. Number two, I thought we got some great stops when we had to. We made some big shots when we had to. Like, we didn't do a whole lot right, except win the game. That was probably the biggest thing we did right, was win the game. And we gutted it out, you know, these kids. Uh, now, I don't know where they got it, right? I mean, to play defense the way we did, and uh, I'm just really proud of them right now. Let's talk more about Caroline. First game back since December 31st. She has 10 points all in the fourth quarter. What's your reaction? Because she's one tough mother, man. That's why, you know, that's why I love the kid, and that's why, uh, you know, when she's, in, when she's in the game, we're a different team because she just somehow, someway gets shots. And uh, she was in here today after shoot-around for about half an hour by herself just shooting the ball, getting herself ready for the game tonight. Uh, I can't say enough about her. I'm just glad she's back. And they told me I could only play her 10 minutes each half. I don't know how close I got, but we'd have gone into overtime. I wouldn't <laughs> Coach, thanks so much, and congrats on a big win. Thanks, Maria. By way of clarification, Caroline Ducharme played exactly 20 minutes in this ballgame. By my math, that adds up to 10 minutes each half. 